Tonight in Isle of Wight County, an investigation is underway after some motorcycles used to teach people how to ride were stolen from a business. Now, luckily, the theft is proving to only be a temporary setback for that owner. That's because tomorrow she's going to travel all the way up to Wisconsin to get four bikes four new bikes. Now, News 3's Coulter Anstad is talking to her about what happened and the impact this is having. Nine bikes similar to this one in size and power were stolen out of a shipping container. The owner of the business is making progress in replacing the stolen bikes, but she says this is about more than just a theft of physical bikes. At Moto Mob Riding School, you'll find a large blue shipping container that, until August 11th, had nine training bikes inside. They grinded through here. The container is now empty, but the locks have been upgraded to make the container more secure. Shaquilla Bussey runs the school and was totally devastated to learn about the theft. Those motorcycles that they took are the motorcycles that I started with. So we're talking about eight years of planning and, and blood, sweat and tears um, to buy the motorcycles. If you look closely, you can still see the mark where the thief or thieves ground through the locking mechanism here on the shipping container to get it open. For some of the graduates of Bussey School, the theft makes them both sad and angry. It doesn't make sense that someone would um still from someone who's um, breaking ground in a sense. I am only a writer because I took her course simply because it was a female black instructor. I know there's ugly people in the world, but uh, for what she does for this community, it, it was pretty upsetting. They're happy to see the support Bussy is getting. People from as far away as Wisconsin have offered bikes and money to help her rebuild. It, it, feels, it feels good. Bussy too is thankful. It's important that my school get back up. Safety is my number one priority. I pride myself in what I do for a living because safety, behavior, and knowledge is what really save, saves lives on the road. Law enforcement is investigating the theft, but so far no arrests have been made. In Isle of Wight County, Coulter Anstad, News 3.